We have to explain why do an increase in the number of producers lead to a decrease in the price of a product. And we have to do this using a diagram. Now I've started with the initial equilibrium position. And now we say well, there's an increase in the number of producers. An increase in the number of producers will affect the supply curve and there's an increase so the supply will increase. There will be a rightward shift of the supply curve. Now we have to explain why does this increase in the number of producers, this increase in supply, why does this lead to a decrease in the price as we'll see later to three. Now, the way we're going to do this is, okay, but at our equilibrium price of four, something happened. There was an increase in supply. More goods are being supplied at a price of four. Quantity supplied increased to 4,800. And if the price remained at four, what happened to quantity demanded? Well, it is still at 3,000. Nothing has happened to price, so there was no change in quantity demanded. So we find we have a quantity demanded of 3,000, but quantity supplied now increased to 4,800. So we have an excess supply. So there is not enough demand at a price of 4 for this product. So what will producers do? Yes, if you can't get rid of stock, you hold a sale. You decrease the price. So there will be a decrease in price. And as the price decreases, quantity supplied will decrease. But on the other hand, as the price decreases, quantity demanded will increase until quantity supplied is equal to quantity demanded at a price of 3. Can you see that? Initially, at the price of 4, we had excess supply. Prices were dropped to get rid of the excess stock and competition among suppliers. And as the price decreased, we moved to the new equilibrium. Price of three, where quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied.